In this example, we're going to finish off the details of this car using subdivision surfaces. We're gonna concentrate just on the front end, but the way the file is set up, the rear of the car is open. So if there's any advanced users, feel free to finish off the, the rear. And you can see the front's open as well as the rear. The details over the fender flares have been removed um, and it's just a simplified version of the final. I've deleted half of the model. I'm gonna work only on one half, either driver or passenger side. And uh, I'm just gonna pick the passenger side from here. And we're gonna pick the front edge. And I'm gonna work a lot in box modeling mode and switch back and forth. To start off with, we'll uh, extrude. Let's see, global is good. The file is set up for a certain direction in the detailing. But at this point, everybody should be pretty well versed with all of the tools and the, the approach to these models. So you're free to do whatever shapes and details you would like and tailor it to the class that you're teaching. So I'm going to do the, the base model, the, what, the reference that we saw, but feel free to change it. It doesn't have to match exactly. I'm gonna select these parts Take this edge and we'll extrude that one down. I'm gonna to go to the front view and I want that to just flare out a little bit like that. And we'll push those in. And at this point, let's go ahead and go to our side view. Just wanna switch these around, right? And, uh, and just play with the shapes. Let's go ahead and pull that one in because I want it to wrap all the way around. And so let's go ahead and flatten this out a little bit. Grab our edge, extrude like this. And I also could build this whole section with curves and, and match it that way. So you have a lot of freedom for, for this portion of the model. And um, yeah, let's just flatten that out. And I'm looking, I'm from the bottom view and I'm just gonna kind of match, match these areas. Make sure that's completely flat and something like that. And then we will wanna make sure that center row is snapped on the grid. I just visually placed it there. Now let's go ahead and pull those guys down a little bit, give this a little shape. All right, so that's the general shape of the grill opening. And then I will pick the edge loop and we'll extrude normal. Something like that. Switch this to global and I just wanna flatten that whole piece out a little bit. Whoops. Something like that. And I'll show you, we're gonna do the align to surface to really position those two pieces. So, we want those to basically be vertical in that section. These ones we can pull back, perfect. Pull these ones forward, whoops, there we go. Something like that. And now at this point, we can use our, well, let's just continue with the creating of this opening. So pick the edge loop, and we'll just scale that back and scale. We can make it as deep as we would like, perfect. That looks good. Let's go ahead and clean up the face just so we know exactly where that will land. And, um, and to do that, I'm gonna just select the curves, come out here. I'm gonna pick that and um, we'll just make it two degree, one span, top view. 
I'm gonna make this a little larger. Let's add, let's make this one two degrees. Sure. Wireframe mode, and we wanna snap that, you know, so that it's tangent going across the center line. And again, all of this stuff can be adjusted after the fact. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna extend. Here, I'll use the palette, and I'm gonna extend this larger. There we go, and place that, oops. Oh, pick the object, there we go. And then I will surface, and I'll just sweep a one by one rail. Great. Go back to our subdivision, and we'll align to surface. Oh, probably helps if I grab these, all these points. And we'll align to surface down here, align to surface, and that allows us to select it. And now, we'll pick this, and um, I think this should work. I haven't tried this. We'll just assign it to a layer and hide it. Yeah, I can move that curve now, which is updating the surface, which is updating the full face of the, of the car. So now I can go in here and kind of control all of those points at one time. So if we want to tuck that in a little bit more, you know, whatever we want to do, but that's a great way to keep everything very clean and all, you know, based on a surface. And uh, so let's just create a curve layer and assign those. So if we need to, there we go, object. So if we need to go back, we can always go back to those curves. Let's go back to box mode. So now we gotta fill in this area here. And we have a lot of options. I'm gonna cut this section here and we'll just cut straight through. Let's drop it down a little bit. Gotta remember if you know we intersect a, a circle shape, we'll wanna put a little form back into that. I'm going to start to move this out. Yeah, something like so. And actually, and so now I'll bridge from here to there and see how that looks. So that's starting to come across that section to the front grill. Let's go back. Now we want to add some thickness to the face of this and just keep things simple. Let's pick these edges and extrude. Yeah. Like that. Let's bring uh, a surface down from this grill, and we'll just pick this face here and you know pull um, an extrusion out. We'll go global. Let's do this in the front view. Something like that. And we'll come back here, pull it back a little bit. Now we'll want to set these up. So I'm going to just flatten that section. And then we'll taper it like that. Yeah. Great. All right. And now we'll take this piece and we'll extrude it again. And this time, front view. Flatten that out and pull it back. And I'm just going to basically place it right in that area. And I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Let's not have those intersect as much. You know, and I can leave this little angle or drop this down too. You know, we're just kind of playing with the shapes at this point.
Now back here, we don't need these faces. Go ahead and delete those. So I don't have to deal with those. And let's see where we're at. All right, so we have a nice little opening. Swing, swings around will be part of the lower splitter area, but we definitely need more geometry to get the shapes that we're looking for. So the first thing I'll do is insert, probably right around here, and pull these points. Just checking to make sure I have them. Pull them forward, something like that. I'm gonna pull these ones back a little bit. Or actually, no, I'm not. Pull that out like that. Because we're gonna come around here and finish this piece off with this section. All right, so just little by little, start organizing this, pull this out just a little bit. Great. And then I'm gonna grab the edge. Let's just grab the whole loop. I believe that will select. Excellent. I'm gonna unselect that one. And we're going to extrude again. And then we'll bridge this. Now, keep in mind, basically every time I build this front end, I'm doing it just slightly different. There's not going to be an exact way to do this, and I think you'll still get good results no matter what you do. So there's our, our essentially our main opening. Now, maybe, Let's go ahead and change this a little bit because I want to put one more row in there that I kind of forgot, but that's okay. Like I said, this isn't about hitting the exact, exactly what I'm doing. It's just the general, the general layout of the CVs. Play with laying details, hold edges, um, creating edge loops and things like that. So we'll take an edge loop and we'll extrude one more time. And this one, we could keep going with these points to build that. Excellent. Now let's see what that looks like. All right, so that's coming together really nicely. And then we'll want it to define this opening a little bit more. And one way that we could do that would be to insert edges. So for example, I could, let's see what happens if I just grab this and we'll bevel. And maybe we'll just drop that down to one division. Great. And then we can do the same thing up here. Edge loop, bevel. Excellent. And now that helps drive that corner a lot more in these shapes in this area. Yeah, great. Let's go ahead and fix some things here I, that I see. I want to pull this one. I want to keep that generally the same shape or size. Oops, did I? Oh, yeah, there we go. Great. That looks good. Maybe in this area we'll add a loop so that we uh, can control that shape. And again, I'll just bevel. We could also insert edges. Something like that. and so on so forth. I can bevel and add as much of these shapes as I would like and, um, and make these adjustments. But I think 
this is probably a good place to end. Oh, actually, let me uh, edge loop this inside one. And we will, again, bevel. There we go. And if I wanted to really add a piece, let's just insert an edge just so we can see that. And distance or relative. And distance will give us a nice offset from that as opposed to if I switch this to relative, you know, some of the distances might change depending on the topology. Looks like everything's about the same at this point, so we can leave it. And so now, you know, a lot cleaner front lip around that grill opening. And then I think we'll want to put, let's see what happens when we insert here. Insert. There we go. And we'll just insert one along there, and that will help keep that grill shape in that area. So have fun. It's, uh, it's set up so that you have a lot of variation um, with the front, and it go through just kind of mapping out how you want to create the loops um, Yeah, for these areas. I'm going to leave a few different versions in this file that you'll always be able to reference during the class.